very much welcome to this tutorial this is for splish splash on youtube and we are here today to learn a bit more how to get better sounding commentary no matter what kind of microphone you're using if it is in my case a blue yeti or a headphone whatever but i have recorded something for you that is still unedited it sounds like this hello people this is for the splish splash and we are doing a test for this tutorial let's get to work Yes, let's get to work and fix it so it sounds as you're hearing me right now. Uh, the good thing with Audacity is that it has a lot of features, but it's quite easy to use, I think. And we're going to do this step by step in order to boost your commentary. So first of all, guys, we're going to go up here and we're going to choose equalization. I'm not going to spend time explaining everything like why I'm doing it. But as you see here, you can't really do like that. It's, that's too easy. You have to highlight the track first that we have recording, pressing Control A. And as you see, it get light blue and then you can get back into the action with equalization. And here we're going to choose uh, bass boost first. Depending on your voice, you can play around with it, see how much you actually need to boost. I have a quite high pitch voice and I'm not a black bass talking down here. So I don't have that Vin Diesel voice, so I don't really take it down too much. I actually keep it more or less as it is. So then press OK and as you can see the file has changed a bit and we're going to do even one more time equalization but this time we're going to choose treble boost meaning that we go to the higher frequencies and here I am actually a bit more careful. When I have choose this you will see that I'm actually dragging it down a bit. Again this depends on your voice for example if you're a female maybe you just want to skip this step to be honest you probably not will you probably won't need a treble boost ah, that depends on your voice again press ok there you go so we've done the equalization now we're going to choose something called compressor to put it together a bit a bit more tight into tightness into the sound you might say um, this is optional it's up to you if you want to go for the peaks but I don't so I just press ok right here the default setting and now you can see that the files or the actual peaks uh, have become a bit bigger uh, and we also have some noise in the background going on but we're getting back to that later on now when we put the compression on we're going to use also a limiter you can choose either soft or hard again I'm not going into every detail here just showing what I actually do and as you see now the peaks are a bit more equal if you go with hard limiter it's probably gonna be even more but now we have these kind of noises you see on the side here uh, on the from the actual you know recording and stuff so you just choose uh, by pressing the le left mouse button uh, this area you see it's highlighted and we go down into the menu again to noise reduction and get the noise profile now when you've done that you press ctrl a you got the whole track again uh, go back to noise reduction bring it up and now you just press ok and look what happens boom most of the background noise is gone so now we're gonna listen in how it sounds we've, we've done those steps those five steps hello people this is for the splish splash and we are doing a test for this tutorial let's get to work so I think it sounds much better and when we've done that we are going to use the scissor tool. Uh, I think this is very good because then you can, you know, get rid of some stuff that you actually don't need. We're gonna go under file. Uh, you have some different formats. You have like, for example, mp3 or you have a WAV file and we're going to choose the WAV file. That's actually the highest quality I think and that's usually what I'm doing myself. So we also got to name it, you know, put it in the direction where you want to save it and name it and uh, there you go. You can also see that you're able to actually put tags and stuff on the actual file. If you want to do that, that might come in handy. I usually don't, but it's just an option. So I hope this helped you out. Let me know. Give me some feedback in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and maybe share it for other people to see it. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.